roommates well. Yay, yay. If I got a roommate for you, baby. <laughs> it's not you, is it? <laughs> not me. <laughs> Take a look at this. Nice looking guy. Easy on the eyes. Could be some competition for the ladies. Nah. Okay, I'll meet you. All right, here we go. Hey. Favorite movie on three. One, two, three. Godfather. Part two. <laughs> I'm gonna. If you want to keep Rachel here, we can never, never show our real selves. I love your mother. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Rachel's not here anymore. <laughs> what are we still doing our pants on? I don't have to you. <laughs> Why, thank you. I can't even remember my own prom because I was so preoccupied with what might happen after. Me too. Anything happen? None of your business. Me neither. <laughs> uh, look, Mr. Feeney, this is my roommate, Jack. Why doesn't he look at me? <laughs> I'm afraid, sir. You know, I believe you, man. For the first time, I'm doing something without you. You can't handle it and you try to take my girlfriend. All right, all right, that's it. I'm not going to talk about this anymore, all right? You got to make a choice, man. It's either her or me. <laughs> Just my roommate, Eric. Millie is much, much more than that. We're waiting. <laughs> he chose me. When? I was a very good student in high school. I can write this paper. I'm going home. Fine, go. High school boy. <laughs> what was that about? What? Nothing. Didn't mean a thing. Just a matter of high school was a very important time in your life. Probably the best years you're ever going to have. You know, you won a few spelling bees, you took out the prom queen, you peaked early. Good for you. <laughs> Be for it! Bye. Eric, looks like I'm going to be alone for Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's kind of sad. <laughs> Maybe I could join you and your family for Thanksgiving. No. Uh, it's just, you know, I, I don't know if they want a chance inviting anybody else over after last year. We had Feeney over, he ate all the white meat. I guess I'll just stay here and order pizza or something. That's great, so you're covered. Hey, Rick. Well, I'm kidding. I love needling you. <laughs> How long have you been filming us? It's not film. It's live. It's spontaneous. It's unrehearsed. Absolutely anything can happen, even this. <laughs> Told you they were gay. Didn't hear you come in last night. Must have had a pretty good time on your date, huh? The evening began at 7. Started with some intimate pre-dinner conversation at a quaint little Mexican place I happen to know. Came back here and let's just say my clothes are off within five minutes. <laughs> you opened your big mouth, she walked out. You ate alone at Taco Bell, came home, took off all your clothes and were asleep by 8 o'clock. <laughs> How'd you do? We learned an important lesson here today, Jack. <laughs> yeah, looks like finding soulmates isn't gonna be as easy as we thought. We can't just find them. Maybe the girls taught us we were too aggressive and we just have to sit back and let the universe bring our soulmates to us. You're a wise man, Jack Hunter. I guess they're actually not coming after us. I'm gonna start a fraternity of my own. That way the girls will come to me. I don't have to wear a dress anymore. Unless, you know, I want it. Well, this whole Valentine's Day thing is one big scam. The greeting card companies, the candy stores, all trying to rip off the innocent consumer. No date, huh? I am so lonely. <laughs> Look at that. Sean broke his date with Angela to be with three girls. Wait a minute. He's handcuffed. That little devil. I don't think he's enjoying it. That's his problem. <laughs> oh, come on, man. You can have your old room back. You haven't rented it out yet? No. Really? No, we've been hoping you'd come back home. <laughs> right, hon? Uh, hun? Hun, is that what we're going to be hearing 24 hours a week, huh? <laughs> oh, come on, Eric. Oh, I get it. I'm Eric, but you're hun. <laughs> no! No flowers! How many times I got to tell you? We got to pick wallpaper that says we're men. <laughs> Ooh, teddy bears? Yeah, 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 teddy bears. You know, Jack, I'm, I'm really glad you met somebody, but don't you find her a little... Freaky? Why? Because she chose me instead of you? I didn't even think of that. Salutations, my didactic friend. 
<laughs> Excuse me? Hi. He said hi. I know what he said. Does he know what he said? <laughs> oh, Mr. Feeney, I appreciate your sardonic jocularity. <laughs> this is word of day calendar. Took him some time, but he's finally got it down. Seriously, um, as an athlete on the football team, uh, is it a distraction being gay? Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Okay. What? I've been holding it in for so long. <laughs> Fellas, I'm gay. That's okay, Rocco, so are we. Really? <laughs> <laughs> this might just be the start of the best friendship since... Jack, who was that guy I used to know? What's up, buddy? Jack! Hey! 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 What about her personality makes her your ideal woman? Well, she's pretty, like I said. And she can walk really good. And she's got this... You know what? Why don't you just go ask Jack? I mean, he's the one who won her. You know, it sounds to me like you care more about the competition with Jack than you actually care about her. Oh, well, now, see, that is ridiculous. I could have won that. I could have, I swear. <laughs> Cheated. My life sucks, Shawnee. I lost my apartment. My apartment! I lost Rachel. Rachel! I lost my best friend, Jack. Rachel! And now I'm about to lose Feeney, that mean old lady. Jack! Great news! I don't have to sleep in your car anymore. You've been sleeping in my car? Since when? Oh, since I got kicked out of the apartment. You know, I usually wait for you and Dean what's her head to go to bed, and then I kind of curl up in the back seat. Unless, of course, I have company over. You have company in my car? <laughs> oh, Mr. Feeney, this is so good. You gotta try some of this. Oh. Is it Thursday? Here, taste it. Taste it. Oh. Mmm. It's tasty. Ah, oh, see, dude? I told you there's nothing wrong with eating a three-week-old meatball. <laughs> That's my hair, right? That's it. Call the caterers. Your parents are expecting some traditional feast. Oh, my parents? Come on. Thanksgiving's like the least important day of the year to them. They don't even exchange gifts. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Hey, Eric. Hey, I know you guys are busy, so I'm gonna get right to this. Thanksgiving is the most important day of the year to me. I'm sure Eric told you that. No, no, he didn't. Yeah, I did, Daddy. Here's what he wants to hear. I'm with you. So you don't know how to be supportive, okay? I want you to be supportive. Sorry, I'll try. I'm waiting for some evil guy from some evil company who's gonna come in and try to sleaze his way into my pocket to buy my vote. Really, why would he do that? Well, because the other company is really environmentally conscious and they save the polar bears, but the evil company is scum who turns clean water into dirty water and hires really good looking employees with pocket squares and hair that goes swoosh. <laughs> to hide their company's evil faces. You're still an idiot genius, aren't you? Well, it's still Halloween. I'm gonna go find another party. Come on, Jack. Eric, wait. Even after all the rotten things I've said to you, you're still gonna invite me to come along? Of course, man, you're my friend. Uh, I know that now. I'm a pretty lucky guy, man. I'm buying. <laughs> you better. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Halloween. It really brings people together. Hey, Rachel, what's up? Jail, how you doing? It smells so good. And now I'm in a position to influence the whole world. What do you know? Me too. I guess the only choice left is who influences who. Well, I guess that's up to us now, isn't it? In conclusion, Watches, chocolate, cheese. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we give you the Swiss. Thank you. Eric, you were supposed to prove something. He did. Nice spaghetti, Jack. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> Lovely job with the mashed potatoes. Huh. <laughs> and where'd you get this gravy? Heaven. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Why? Why? We can't just throw them out in the street. Oh, you know, we really could. We'll move out. Oh, Jack, you're the greatest.
<laughs> oh, you're the best. Oh, Thanks. No, 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 no! Don't fold! I don't want to sleep in Feeney's car anymore. The beaded seat cushion hurts my tushy. Well, I'm going to New York. Good. <laughs> See you, pal. Man, keeping you around was always the best choice I ever made, wasn't it? Yeah, I gotta go. You know what? You never even told me about your first time. Remember Mitchell Davis? There's an unexpected surprise. Why don't you tell me about your second time? So look at this. History, perfect example. Look at this. Queen Victoria. Catherine the Great, Madame Curie. Are they yummy or what? <laughs> yummy. Oh, and who is this raven-haired beauty? That's Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> Stop that, you're scaring me. <laughs>